Hey guys, it's Callum from English Shooting here. Um, as you can see, I'm at the NSRA at the 25 meter outdoor range. Now, other than it being an absolutely cracking day for a shoot, um, it's about half seven in the evening now. I've just come up from work. So other than it being a stunning day for a good old shoot, the reason I'm here is for a little bit of testing. Now, obviously I've owned my Smith & Wesson 1522 that you can see behind me for a fair while now, um, you know, a good year and a half, nearly two years. Absolutely love it. I um, think it's a cracking rifle, reliable and pretty accurate. Well, one of the things that I've been meaning to do for quite a while is shorten the barrel. Now, I've looked at many different options, you know, having it sent away to be cut down or just buy a replacement barrel. Now, Suffolk Rifle Company do a replacement barrel service. So for £90, you send away your old barrel and they send you back a proofed, ready to go, threaded, barrel of 12 inches to go on the Smith & Wesson 1522. Well, it's actually the Phoenix weekend this weekend, or the Phoenix meet, um, and Suffolk Rifle are gonna be there, and I'm hoping that they've got some shorter barrels that they can swap for me on the day. So I'm down here today to basically do some testing of the accuracy before I put the shorter barrel on. So I've got this kind of marker and I can go back and compare it to when I get the shorter barrel and I'm hoping to be able to do a long versus short barrel comparison for anybody that's you know thinking of getting the shorter barrel themselves or for anybody that's sort of wondering whether that shorter barrel makes a huge difference to accuracy on a 2.2 semi-automatic 1522. So I'm going to get on testing, shoot um, as many cards as I can kind of get in um, and get a real representation of how that barrel shoots. So I've shot a number of cards with the long barrel. I think my shooting's been pretty good. I've taken my time, done it nice and slowly to try and get the maximum accuracy out of the gun um, and try and eliminate me as much as possible. Um, the next thing to do is to go to the Suffolk Rifle Company store tomorrow, hopefully, which will be the Friday of the Phoenix shoot, to get the barrel changed um, and then to come back here as soon as possible to try out the new barrel and see if I can notice any differences. So it's exactly a week since I was last here and during which there was the Phoenix meet where I had the barrel shortened. I now have 12, 12 and a half inch barrels on my Smith & Wesson 1522. I think it looks absolutely uh, incredible. I really do like the, the shorter look. Haven't shot it at all yet, so this is going to be the first time um, and I'm going to obviously compare the accuracy um, and make note of the accuracy to be able to compare later on to the um, longer barrel to see how much of an effect it really has. Um, I'm really excited to, to shoot this new barrel, so let's get on with it. So I'm back home now. Um, I've gone through all the cards um, just to show you I shot a fair amount, uh, pretty much 50-50 between the long and the short barrel and I've uh, selected the best cards or what I think are the best cards, the best groupings from the long and the short barrel. Um, now in these sort of um, segments there's different speeds of shot. So um, in this first segment here you've got um, 25 shots done as slowly, as accurately as I could. So really precise shooting. In this middle section here, this, this was 10 shots on target. Again, really slowly, as accurate as I could get them. Um, and here you have 25 shots 
rapid, as fast as I could go. Um, just to remind you guys, it was at 25 yards. Again, I used the same ammunition throughout. That was a mini mag. I tried to keep everything as identical as possible, obviously, apart from the length of the barrel. Now, to put you out of your misery, um, the top section here was done with the shorter barrel and the bottom section here was done with the longer barrel. Now, looking at it sort of initially, um, the Rapid, I would actually say that the shorter barrel has grouped marginally better, um, if not identically to the longer barrel. Looking at the more accurate shooting between the 10 and the 25 shot, you can see that there is a difference. Um, you can see that the longer barrel has performed slightly better in terms of grouping. Now, stopping there for a second and just comparing these um, sort of like for like as is, I am completely happy with this. Um, I will be doing a review video which I will go um, into more depth um, on this, but just to say quickly now, I am more than happy with, with this performance. Now, carrying on, I do have to say that actually I don't think the shorter barrel has reached its full potential yet. Now, when I first you know, sort of rocked up to the range, the first precision 10 shot card that I shot with the shorter barrel was this. Now, you can see that that looks like a completely different gun has shot that. Comparing it like for like, these two were shot both with a shorter barrel, same ammunition, same gun, same condition, same day, pretty much within half an hour of each other, and it just looks completely different. Now, obviously, the, the barrel that I had put on the Smith & Wesson was brand new. The shorter one was brand new, had never been shot other than proofing, so it hadn't been bedded in. It was completely new, completely brand new. So, obviously, you know that brand new, clean barrels do need a little time to sort of bed themselves in and reach their full performance. Now, this was shot towards the very end of the day, and there was, you can see, I won't get them all out, but if you take my word for it, looking at all the cards, there was a definite um, you know, performance increase throughout the day. Each card I shot got better and better and better. So this was probably after shooting about three or 400 rounds through the new barrel, and I'd probably shot probably two to 3,000 rounds through the longer one. So I think if that continues, this is easily going to reach this sort of performance. And talking to, to Neil from Suffolk Rifle, he's had reports from customers who's also had the same shorter barrel, that the performance has actually been better overall in the long term than, than the long barrel. So actually, you know, and I can completely believe him on that because I have seen that sort of increase in performance through the number of shots. So again, I'm completely happy with it. Um, and you know, giving a, a like for like comparison, I really don't think there's much in it. I really think that you know, as I said, if it continues to increase in performance, it's it's identical. It's pretty well matched as is, and I think it's it's only going to increase. It's only going to get better. So. There you have it really, there is a like for like comparison. You know, as I've said, I kept everything exactly the same. The only thing that's different between the top and the bottom cards was that one barrel was 16 and a half inches and another barrel was 12 and a half inches. And for me, I really can't see um, there being any performance difference in the long term and I am completely happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I found it quite interesting to go out and test. Found the results pretty pleasing after you know spending um, you know nearly a hundred quid on a new barrel. Um, I would recommend it to anyone, but I will be doing a full review of it. So check out that video if you fancy seeing sort of my overall opinion of the process um, and the new barrel. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you soon.